hi guys and welcome back to my channel this is a continuation of my last video of traveling vlog so now we arrive so you're continuing with the last video if you are new here welcome if you've not subscribed please subscribe and to my returning subscribers thank you for joining and thank you for always watching so guys let's continue with my last video and feel welcomed so guys you remember i arrived late at night so i slept at my auntie's place and the next morning we woke up and headed to the apartment where we were going to have our family vacation and reuniting again with my family so i have my uncle who lives very not very but lives in uk and back there so he had come so he had come to for family vacation yeah so right now i've arrived at the apartment Yes, don't mind the the sh shade there because my auntie is, is not good in this recording thing. So I was just trying to tell her to record me. But yes, she tried, she tried. So we have arrived and let's continue. Currently, I'm in my room about to take a shower because you're heading to the beach and to the swimming pool as well. And so guys, let's catch up in the comment section. Please like the video and share with your people. And if you haven't watched my last video so that you can understand this one, please watch it. I'll put the link in the description box. Yeah, let's catch up later. Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're keeping safe. So guys, most of you know, so I traveled yesterday. I'm at the coast area. I came to visit my family and my uncle lives away in UK so I have never seen him since I was born so it's been 22 years so I arrived safely yes yesterday night I rested well so this is the next day it's around 12 so we're going to the beach and I have this cute dress here gifted by my auntie I'm so excited because I love it it's so cute and free so that's this is a good dress for the beach so let's go to the beach because me and our chelewesha so let's go yeah, see you there. Hey guys, so we've just arrived at the swimming pool. So this is the Travelers Beach Hotel and Spa and it's so beautiful as you can see the ambience, there's no noise, it's just cool and yeah so what i'm going to do next i'm going to change to my swimming costumes then yeah let's get into swimming although i don't know how to swim but yeah i'll be taught <laughs> so let's go so i have changed and guys this is my first time trying a bikini and i look so cute yeah i love it it's so cute i love myself i look so cute so let's go to the water and guys i've told you i don't know how to swim but i love water i love water So right now my auntie was trying to coach me how to swim because she's a swimming trainer. She's so perfect in swimming and she teaches very gently. But for me, I was so panicking, but she made me not panic. I tried. At least I have some tricks about swimming. I can, yeah, I can do one, two, three, but I fear, I fear swimming, but I love water because water is a good therapy. It's a very good therapy and this is what I needed.
after we were satisfied with swimming we went for a walk at the beach and had fun just seeing the beach the views we claimed the camel but i don't know if i have that clip if i find it i'll just insert it here the way it is so then we went ahead to another hotel called yules and had some drinks yeah that was basically for that day and then we went back at home So we are back at home and this is the view of our apartment in the morning i'll show you the morning view of the apartment so yeah let's meet in the next morning subscribe guys subscribe subscribe please subscribe subscribe so that you can grow our community So this is the next morning. I woke up very early. It's around 8. So I'm about to wash my face, clean my teeth, and then go and prepare our breakfast. Then yeah, we'll see what's ahead for us for this day. So for me guys, I use the Risper Faith Creations. I'm not advertising, but I'm just showing you whatever I use. I use the Risper Faith Rice Soap. If you go to Instagram, you will just search Risper Faith Creations RSP. Then, no, not RSP, RS, Risper Faith RFC. Yes, RFC. So it has helped me a lot because I had some breakouts, but now, yeah, my face is doing better, better. Yeah. Hey guys, so I promised to show you the view in the morning and before anything, yeah, so basically I'm in the living room right now. I've not started from the far end of the bedrooms because of some reasons, but I will show you later. So this is the living room area heading to the balcony. This is the balcony and you see that view guys, it's so beautiful. You can see the ocean, the breeze, so, so beautiful. So enjoy the view.
I then went ahead to prepare breakfast. We had pancakes, pork sausages, some fruits and tea. So after breakfast, we prepared ourselves and went to this park called Jumbo Ruins. It's located in Mtuapa. So we were told that this park has these houses which you are seeing here where slaves used to be stored here. Then they be, it's, called, it's um, exported or in, yes, exported to other countries here. Yeah. So these houses right now are vanishing and they will definitely disappear after some time. So we enjoyed our stay at this park and saw some monkeys here yeah, it was so good So from the park we came straight to this place called the Moorings, it's the Kenya's original floating restaurant where we had some drinks and went to went for a boat riding. It was my first experience and it was so fun. continued support i appreciate so much to my returning subscribers i don't take it for granted i appreciate i appreciate your support so so much and god 
bless you for that to my new subscribers if you are new in this channel if it's your first time clicking on my channel please do remember to subscribe hit this red button here so that anytime i upload a video you'll be among my notification people so guys thank you for tuning in and so as you you you've done what you if you watched my previous video it was a travel video a traveling vlog together with cooking as usual and some self-care so i came to course to visit my family and yes i arrived safely and if you haven't watched that video please go back and watch it please 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 go back and watch it so today has been a good day i met my family and everything so everything is going on well i'm so excited and i thank god so the day has been good as you've seen we've gone for boat riding and this what, what is the name of this park we've gone jumbo 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 something park i'll write the name down here guys i forgot <laughs> but it's jumbo something jumbo something it's a park yeah where it's a park it's a park where what yes where um, mm -hmm. it's it's a park which has the houses that long ago the slaves used to be stored there then they are uh, they are exported away yeah just like that i've explained I will explain for you early. So guys, in today's video right away, I'm, I want to make some dinner for us. And as usual, I must throw down a recipe yes, for my people in any of my videos. So I'm going to make a no, I'm going to make a chicken curry, a recipe that I've made, but I'll not make it in that way that I usually make it because my uncle and auntie doesn't like beef or any meat with coconut inside it so i'll just put the coconut in my rice but just cook the same way as the chicken curry but i'll not put coconut in it it will it will be basically just chicken stew yeah it's a broiler chicken so welcome and let's start the video by showing you my ingredients of the day thank you for tuning in i appreciate so so much so so so, so much subscribe these are the ingredients of my dinner recipe so the first ingredient is a whole broiler chicken this is a whole broiler chicken the next one I have rice here I have salt I have spices and for the spices for today I'm not using so much spices because not everyone loves spices and you'll not cook food according to your liking and you have other people with you so for the spices of the day, I'm going to use cumin spice. Cumin spice for the marination. The other spice is black pepper. This one can't miss. I have oregano leaves. Yes, just like that. So I'm so mad because I don't have paprika. I forgot to buy paprika and I'm so mad. But it's okay. I'll just use what is there. And my next ingredient, I have coconut milk here with me the coconut milk i'll use it in the rice so i'll make coconut rice i have cooking oil cooking oil then the last one i have tomato paste not the last one actually i'll also use the onions tomatoes and capsicum yeah capsicum ginger and garlic i'll show you later as i prepare them so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to marinate these ingredients not ingredients where am i confused today i'm going to marinate this chicken so it's in the fridge for a few minutes as i prep the veggies so let's get to marination so i have put everything away and i've just remained with the things i'm going to use in marinating my chicken so i'll use this euphoria because i don't have a small bowl here with me so i'll just use what i have so i'll add in my chicken is that so hard so 
So what I'm going to add next, I'm going to add salt. Let me use a spoon. Not a lot because I'll cook with it. So add salt. Then I will add cumin. Cumin just a little bit. To the spices, remember add at your own liking. If you like a lot of spices, yes, just go ahead and do that. Cumin. I'll then add my black pepper. I'll then add my oregano leaves. You can add as many as the spices that you like and have. So for me, I'll not use a lot today as I've just told you before because the people around me right now don't like spices that much. I'll then add some cooking oil in it. Just a little bit because I cook with it. So let me do away with this. <coughs> so what I'll do next, I'll just mix everything together. And for me, I love mixing with my hand. I find it easier. Remember, you can also use chicken masala if you have. So after mixing it very well, I will cover it. And for today, I'll use a lid because I don't have a clean film. You can use a clean film if you have it around. And what I've forgotten, guys, no, I'll not do it here. Remember, if you are going to bake your chicken and you're not cooking the way I'm cooking, you have to cut it a little bit so that the spices can get in. But for me, it's not a must. So... Let me add the leaves. The herbs. Yes. So I will cover it with a the lid, then store it in the freezer because I'm cooking it in the next 10 minutes. As my chicken marinades, I'll be preparing the other ingredients. So I'll be using three red onions, three red onions, two large tomatoes, very ripe, one whole capsicum. This is one whole I've just washed and separated it into halves. I have lime or lemon. I have some garlic and ginger here, which I want to grind right now. Yes, so let's prep these ingredients, then we get into cooking. So guys, my chicken is now ready for cooking. So the first step I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of oil in my pan, then, then shallow fry them. 
for like five minutes then we we'll later cook them in stew so let's get shallow frying the chickens So for my first batch, the downer side is ready. I will turn them to cook on the upper side. Guys, my chicken is ready. I wanted to achieve that crunchiness and I wanted all the ingredients to taste well even in the stew. So this is my chicken so we are going to make the stew right now. So the first step I'm going to do, this is my clean sufuria. So I'll add the same oil I used in shallow frying my chicken because it has those spices and they are cooked and so tasty so I'll add the oil. I'll just add a little bit of oil. Just a little to cook the onions like that. I will then drop my onions inside. I will let my onions cook until mid brown. My onions are ready, they are mid brown. So I will add I will add my garlic and ginger paste. I'm going to add in my tomatoes. So as my tomatoes cook, I'll be boiling my coconut rice water on this other side. So this, this is just basically water. When it gets hot, I will add a little bit of oil and coconut, then salt. I will add my tomato paste. I'm adding water to cook the paste well and because I added spices in my marination I don't think if I'll add let me just put a pinch of salt because the chicken already has salt the only spice I'm going to add right now is oregano You remember my lime juice, so I will add this lime juice because I want that sweet and sour taste in my chicken.
my rice water is ready so and some coconut milk yeah not too much just like that basically what I was having for you today and thank you for staying tuned thank you for watching this video till the end and the food has come out so well as you can see guys so let me show you this is the result I had already started eating let me enjoy my meal as you watch so that you can try it click this red button to subscribe so that anytime I upload a video you'll be notified and guys thank you for spending with me spending with me through the day and till now we are having dinner so see you on my next video 